Hello everyone, Obelisk.P is here, and whoa, I sound way too much like everyone else, so why don't I start off some other way? How about Bienvenido, or Buenos Vidas, or Konnichiwa, there, I said hello in multiple languages. Look, the point is, today I'm playing Oblivion, and when we last left off, I was in the Imperial Prison, and my name was Heroic. Yeah, 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 I know, Heroic, it's a pretty stupid name, and... Oh yeah, I forgot. We never did leave off, because I never finished recording. Well, thankfully for you guys, you only missed the intro cutscene. Not really all that important. Hey, Lizard. And this you man's going to bitch and moan at me. Uh, no, he's so not going to bitch and moan at me. He's going to bitch at me about how never I'll never see the... Again. The... You know, the water again. Yeah, 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 man, shut up. Sit on the battered stool. Cadna just said that my name is stupid because I'm stupid. Well, thank you, Cadna. He's asking me some questions. Uh, I'm I'm gonna answer them later, Cadna. Let's see. You hear that? I can't get through there. For you. Oh, shut up, Dark Elf. I tell you, if I ever get back in here, I am so totally killing you. I don't think you can. That was Cadno. He says I don't think he... He just says I don't think I can kill that Dark Elf. Well, that sort of sucks. Because he's a total jackass. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. So I will sit down, watch, I... and there's mind, Uriel Septim. No, wait, that's Stand Uriel Septim, and those are blades. We hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. Gee, rude, aren't the they? Over by the window. Stay out of the way, and you won't get hurt. Prisoner, stand away from the door. Over by the window now. I wonder if they really will kill me if I stand if I sit in the wrong place for too long. No sign of pursuit. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Stay put. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. Then. God. Yeah, I really, really don't care Assassin's what Uriel Septim says. I am the next. basis of his plot line Quite is sure. he's he's gonna as die because God, assassins have killed all his sons been, and they're gonna kill him. Matter. That. And basically, I you gotta save the world. You will find your own path. So Please shut up, Uriel. Must keep moving. I just want to get the hell out of here and actually start the real game. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your lucky day. Just stay out of our way. Oh, I'll stay out of your way, alright. La 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 la, la running ahead of you. you prisoner. No. I remember this game very fondly because I played it when it was newer on the Xbox 360 and then I played it again on the PC and I think the point I'm trying to make is that I've played this game a number of times. But I've never beaten it. I have. Yeah, Cadna has beaten it, but I've never beaten it. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. The captain's now. <laughs> Die! Die, assassins! And I'll take everything Captain Reynolds had on her. Which includes the Akaviri Katana and a torch. And, let's see, I will equip... No, I want to keep the short sword. I don't want to put it back on her. And then I'll go around looting all the assassins. But I won't take their Mythic Dawn robes. Because the Mythic Dawn robes business. really, really, really suck. I'll take the weak potion of sorcery, and I'll take the weak potion of healing. How could they be waiting for us here? I don't know, but it's too late. To and go then I will equip the steel short sword, right now. and wait for them to finish up blathering on, so that the rats will come the through here and that. The blades. I'll take points. Let's move. Yeah, it's a bit boring at first, but what do you expect from a tutorial? I so wish that I could go over there and kill all of them. I 
I love how gory this game is. Everything can be killed, and it can all be killed in a fantastically bloody way. Huh. Well, how do I get lockpicks? Thank you very much. In here. Gold and a rusty iron war axe, but no lockpicks. I have completely forgotten how it is <gasps> you gather the lockpicks at the beginning of the game. I know you can get lockpicks, because how else would you open the chest and get what was inside of it? Well, I can't for the life of me remember- oh, that's where they are. No, that's a stone mug. Oh, he's holding them. Now, lockpicking in this is really, really stupid. It's nothing like the lockpicking in Skyrim, which is a lot more like the lockpicking in Fallout. This is this weird mini game where you have to... You have to make sure that the tumblers are in the right position. Now, I understand that that's a lot more like real lockpicking. But, you know, it gets on your nerves after a while. And where'd my other arrow go? Which, a, a crate. With more lockpicks! Talk about fortune! A goblin shaman. With a weak portion of so Ooh, he had a lot of good stuff on him. He had some really good stuff on him. Ooh. Is that a rat? I will practice casting spells on my own. Thank you very much. Right now, I want to level up my archery skill. If that's actually possible before you've... Before you've begun the game. You gotta understand, I've played this game a number of times. The problem is, the last time I played it was quite a while ago. So you must forgive me for being a little rusty. And I am planning to build a sort of a thief character. Where are these rats going? Ooh, lordy. Something- oh yeah, here comes the zombie. There we go. Took long enough. And I can't even get all my iron arrows back. Now I think the rats will leave you alone once you killed the zombie, unless you go back to where they are. And I don't particularly plan on going back to where they are, so I don't foresee myself being bothered by the rats. Now, as I recall, there is a goblin up here. Yeah, we better pull out the... We better pull out the steel short sword. And I think, actually, I will call it quits here. Because I'm running out of time to do this, and I'll keep on recording in a little while.
Hello everyone, ObeliskoPS here. Now, if you'll recall, when we last left off with Oblivion, we were in the caves underneath the Imperial Castle. Or maybe they're underneath the Imperial City. I don't really know, and to be honest, I don't really care. All I know is I want to get out of them and into the main game. Let's see. Tab. Bow. There's a rat down there. There's two rats. I missed one of the rats. I didn't actually manage to kill, to kill it in one hit, unlike the other, because... Oh. I had already... alerted them to my presence. Which I say is bullshit. Can I get that arrow? Can't get the I can get the rusty iron helmet, though. So I'm going to equip the rusty iron helmet. And... Oh, why the hell not the rusty iron shield? Equip the steel short sword. So now I have a sword and a shield. Sounds like... I don't know, it sounds like the lyrics to a song or something. Now I have a sword and a shield. God, I should not sing in the middle of a video ever again. What I want to have right now is a torch out. Because I can't for the life of me see where I'm going. So. Pull out a torch. Ooh. Hello, rat. Ooh. I'm almost dead. That's never a good thing. Dude, it's really, really small down here. Is this where the two rats come running at me and are being followed by the zombie? No, I've already gotten past that part. Good. I don't remember this part. What's in the barrel? Ale! Cool! I can get wasted. Not exactly goal of the year, but a good goal for me nonetheless. Get wasted in oblivion. And let's see. There should be should be a goblin coming up soon. And for that, I'm going to want to have a bow equipped and be in sneak. Run a little in sneak. And I'll come at him from this side. Oh no, as long as it's just a little rat. Do I have any- yes, I have a weak potion up here. That was almost very, very bad. I mean, seriously, that was almost really bad. Perhaps I'll avoid using the bow and arrow from here on out. Unless I know I'm far enough away from the enemy that I'm not going to get- Well, well slaughtered. As soon as I go in. Ooh, stink horns. Karen bolets. Both of which are actually really useful. And now I get to move into the more interesting part of the cavern. In here I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. Because now I'm going to be facing off against goblins. And they're actually kind of powerful. Folded cloth. Uh, cloth. Ooh, burgundy linen shirt. Maybe I'll wear that from here on out so I can look like a rich person.
Yeah, like I said, from here on out, I'm going to be facing goblins. And they're quite a bit trickier than rats. Though they're not as bad as scamps when it comes to killing a first-time player. You would not believe how often I died to the scamps. I'm going to grab his Karen Bolette's caps, his stink horns, and his novice mortar and pestle. I don't think I'll grab his roasted wrap. Because I can't really see much of a use to grabbing roasted wrap. Take the gold, take the torch. I mean, all it gives you is rat meat, and as far as I remember, rat meat is not the best meat when it comes to actually doing much of anything for your health. Hey, that Akravirid Katana is really good. Bear Pelt, Iron Arras. Oh. Uh, now, my entire goal in this Let's Play is to build up my character as a thief. Because I want to be able to go into people's houses and steal all that crap. To quote Richard Nixon from Futurama, I will go into people's houses and wreck up the place. I broke my pick. And I got two more lockpicks. And a bunch more arrows. So I can take the iron dagger, but I might come in hand. Now I've got to push this. Because that kills the supposed to kill the goblins down here. <laughs> Honestly, that was supposed to kill both the goblins, not just the one. Take his lockpick, take his rusty iron bow, and take all his iron arrows. Use the iron short sword though, that's usually a bit more of a hindrance than it is a help. I mean you wanna have re you wanna take things within reason. You take too much, you get over encumbered. You take too little, you don't have enough gold. So I usually err on the side of caution and take most things, unless it's pretty obvious that I'm not going to use them or be able to make much money on them. He went down fast. Take his lockpick and his iron arrow. And sneak around over here. Who sees me? Oh, he sees me. I swear, sometimes this game just drives me nuts. Other time I re other times I really enjoy it, but sometimes it just drives me nuts. I mean, it can be so easy to get killed at times. Take the take one wrong step, you die. Take engage an enemy who's too strong for you, you die. Do just about anything, you die. Oh, what really sucks is being over encumbered. As I am about to be. So I think, I think I better, I don't know, maybe I'll build my own character.
Oh great! He killed me. He killed me right at the same time that I killed him. Yeah, that's just great game. That's just great. Now I gotta rush back through here to get back to the main part of the nat natural cavern. Take the lock picks. Take the stinkhorn cap and the wisp stock caps and the knob mortar and pestle. I think we're going to join the mages guild in this game just so that we can get all the alchemy tools for free. Yes, I'm not above stealing from the mages guild. And we're going to make an attempt to join. We'll probably will make an attempt to join the Dark Brotherhood and the and the Thieves Guild as well. I don't know what kind of a negative effect joining the Dark Brotherhood has on your character. I don't know if it really screws up your chances of progressing very far in the game, or if it's just like, hey, you want to join the Dark Dark Brotherhood? Go ahead and join the Dark Brotherhood. But I know I joined the Dark Brotherhood once on one of my own playthroughs, and I really enjoyed it. I loved having to go in and kill the people. <laughs> no, seriously. I enjoyed being part of the Dark Brotherhood, and that's why I thought I might join it again this game. Now I remember the first time I, the first time I ever played Oblivion, I accidentally killed a character, and when the guy came to offer me admittance into the Dark Brotherhood, I was like, "What? I don't want to join the Dark Brotherhood." So it just goes to show you, sometimes. Sometimes you gotta learn a little more about a game before you play it. No, but this, the next time I played, I actually knew what the Dark Brotherhood was, and I sort of took a chance and said, Hey, maybe I want to join this group. It turned out to be a pretty good, pretty good decision. Because I'll tell you, the benefits of joining the Dark Brotherhood are actually pretty damn good. Sweet, I'm getting maxed out at like 60 frames per second here. That's pretty decent for my recording. I mean, usually I can't even manage 5 frames per second. No, I take that back. Usually I can manage like... 10 like 30, 35 frames. But today I'm getting 60. That's pretty good. Take the lover shield and loot his corpse. Yes, I know I should show respect for the dead even if they're goblins. Do it. You know what? Screw that. They wouldn't show respect for me. I am going to run myself out of arrows before I can kill this bugger. Take my iron arrows back. I don't think I'll take his rat meat this time because... Well, hell, it's just rat meat. I don't quite know what benefit rat meat will do me. So I do want to increase my sneak skill as best as po as high as possible because like I said that is important for my character choice. If I'm going to be a thief, I am going to need to sneak everywhere, especially if I'm going to be part of the Dark Brotherhood. I remember there's one quest in the Dark Brotherhood quest line where you have to like 
where you have to where you have to Can I please take out this goblin shaman? Thank thank God. Iron arrows. Ooh, petty soul gem and a flawed ruby. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, you guys are rats. All right, with break dancing. It's like all of a sudden nothing can detect me. That's a little bit peculiar. Now where does the Goblin Shaman keep his staff? I think it's in here. Anyways, you can get a really good staff off the Goblin Shaman. And it wasn't in there. Let me pull out a Akaviri Katana. Ooh. I got myself stuck. Well, I guess I just got to show you. Well, let this be a lesson to me, not to try it again to... Let this be a lesson to me, not to try to get into every place I see. Because I am totally in... Hey, I did it! I got out! Gold. Anything else interesting around here? Anything else? Speak now or forever hold your peace. That's not. Then you go up here. And I think you end up going through the sewer at one point before you can get out to daylight and begin your adventure. Oh wait, is that right here that you do that? No, there it is. There's where you go to the sewer. Or do you? Maybe that's later on. We should find an offensive spot and protect the Emperor until help arrives. Help, what makes you think help will get here before more of those bastards? We need to here get the Emperor out of here. Long burn the dragon fires! <laughs> It's that prisoner again! Kill him! He might be working with the assassins! No! Excuse me! I am not working with the assassins! He must help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. Yes, 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 Uriel. How can tell I them what? Tell me everything Listen, you need to tell me. You know the Nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I yes, 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 Uriel. Keep on chattering. I actually care yours. about what you're saying. Huh. The Atronarch Shadow. Thief it is. 
because I believe I can change the time I was will born under. show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. I like this part because I always try to prevent it, and then your stars are not like, mine. if you do prevent it, he dies. Today, anyway. the thief shall guide your steps on the road to destiny. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. There but in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. I love that they always say that the world is going with to be better hope, at the end of the game, and, and the, the next game everything's aid, gone to hell my again. Heart must be satisfied. I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. You may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and stick close. Yes, Boris. My job is to make sure the Emperor... Stick close and let us do our job. And you'll be alright. You didn't have anything useful. And sometimes the Mythic Dawn people have potions on them. But apparently I'm too far into I'm too far into this tutorial for them to have potions anymore. They must think I've already gotten all the potions I need. For the the emperor's in danger. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to do that again. I love how no matter how hard you try, you can never fight the people in the beginning. What up, Uriel? Don't push prisoner, me, prisoner. Help the For the blade! Your destiny. You're lucky I like you. Otherwise, you'd be dead. Yes, yes, yes. Threaten me all you like. I'm trying to protect the Emperor. Can I get through here? Door to the Sanctum. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. I'm gonna stick back with the Emperor. Well, maybe I'll run ahead with this guy. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through to the sewers. Glenroy. It's a good human name. Now if I stand waiting in this Let's go. If I stand waiting in this corner, I might be able to protect the Emperor. They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. For, For the, the blades and the Emperor! I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his Yes, 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 you You must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. I like you, Emperor. Ah, stranger. You chose... Ah, ah. So he's programmed... Um, really? Really? Freaking really? T 
Did I really just die there? Did I really just die there? Okay, people, I think we're gonna cut through till I... Okay, people, so we are back, and this time I'm actually going to remember to save. I can't save yet. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Joffrey, he said that? Why? Nothing I ever heard about, but Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City, or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Well, thank you, Boris. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced assassin. Am I right? Perhaps. Assassin seems pretty similar to what I want, although Nightblade also looks good. What thief? I'm gonna do Assassin. He looks pretty cool. I thought so. A few rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By so the way, then. thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. He took Captain Renault's sword. And yes, I do have a whole ton of DLC installed. So I'm gonna get all the beginning quests, all the special quests, everything. Even though I'm probably not gonna do any of it yet, especially the Shivering Isles and Knights of the Nine, I think it is. But I'm going to probably investigate one of the top one of the hideouts you get. One of the homes you get, I mean. And use that as my little hidey hole while I'm playing this game. I know when I was a uh, my last character I used the mage tower because it was actually really help helpful. But now yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh that's what it's called. It's Frost Crag Spire. And then Battlethorn Castle is actually a quite fun little side quest. You have to buy everything with your gold. So it gives you a reason to keep on exploring and making money. But if you do, you end up with a really nice little home. Iron Longsword. Oh. 
What am I supposed to be using, though? What are my skills? Assassin. Major skills, blade, alchemy, acrobatic, slight armor. Okay, I'm doing pretty good as is. I might not get to use my bow and arrow as much as I wanted to, though. Lockpick, silver nugget, and garlic. I remember the garlic. You need that for a quest where you... Believe it or not, kill vampires. Although at least you don't fall in love with the vampires. A la Twilight. I've not got anything against fans of Twilight. Don't pin that rap on me. Sometimes I just get the feeling that fans of Twilight are a little too fanny about it. Now whatever Cadno might have said, because he told me that I should be using light armor if I was the heavy iron shield when I was playing a different character. I am specialized in light armor. So I'm going to wear light armor. Do I hear a mort? Or a zombie, I mean to say. Do I hear a zombie? Sure does sound like it. Awesome! I'm almost out of this place! Yeah. Let us crouch. That way we might not be discovered as quickly. It would be awfully nasty if we were discovered. This gate is sealed. This is the part where I get to finalize all my decisions and go out. Finished. Exit sewers. I think I chose a pretty good class being an Argonian. They're good with picking locks, which is one of my main skills. Now, I'm sort of tempted to not even start on the main quest yet. I'm rather tempted not even to start on the main quest yet, but instead to just go up to the Imperial City and start robbing people blind. Because that would be rather fun, I'll admit. And my mouse just died. No, it's working again. Ah, eh, screw it, I'm going up to... Uh, oh, no. Let's see if I can fast travel to the Imperial City. Hey, I can. Market District. Yeah, baby. Time to rob people blind. Or I don't know, should I go to Wayne and Priory first? I don't have a horse yet, which will make it a little bit more difficult than it normally would be. Are guards going to follow me if I go through here? Are guards going to show up at any minute and kill me for trying to rob people blind? Let's hope not. I'm detected! Oh, that's why. wait five hours see where that puts us it's pretty late I'm guessing most people will be in bed by now no wait another five hours okay now I should be able to break in and start stealing 
Oh, but that's hard. Hard. Average. Hey, <laughs> yeah, we did it. And what's in here? Let's let's see about saving real quick before we do anything further. Oh yeah, I forgot. It wouldn't do me much good to be robbing a place right now. I don't have anywhere to sell any of this. I'm not going to be using any of it, God forbid. The Gilded Karoff, the best defense. That might be useful. Let's see what a hard lock looks like. We did it! We got into the best defense! And with auto attempt, no less.